how are y'all doing happy saturday <laughs> i think yeah it's saturday pool day happy saturday hope y'all are having a good weekend if it started yet if not it's time to get outside y'all the weather i don't know where you at but the weather in atl today is great i ain't gonna lie it's like 50,000 trillion degrees outside maybe <laughs> um i already walked outside and melted but that made me want to go to the pool today so i'm about to get ready to go to the pool i don't really know what i want to wear yet so i just thought you know maybe i should do a little get ready with me um so i can see what it looks like on and then y'all can tell me what your favorites are too even though i would have already worn it at the pool by the time y'all see it so hopefully y'all like what i go with <laughs> it is fourth of july weekend everybody is outside i ain't going outside outside like that most people are actually in new orleans it's jazz fest weekend but um for the people that are still here here. there's a lot going on outside I ain't really going out there I'm just going to the pool so here comes option number one y'all be right back okay I'm back with the first option I can honestly already tell y'all that this is a no <laughs> I don't like this thing y'all can't even really see it hold on this is a no this is like a wraparound thing oh look look at my rolls y'all <laughs> um yes i have rolls have i ever told y'all about how i actually lost over like 70 pounds so i'm proud of my little rolls but like i still they need to get the hell on you know <laughs> but yeah oh actually you know what i'm rambling right now but i'm gonna tell y'all about my weight loss story because i actually don't think that i've told y'all that and i really did lose um i want to say it's like well when i was keeping count it was like 73 to be exact i probably gained a couple more than back by now because i ain't gonna lie don't y'all know me i don't be on it like that how i should be but i be getting back on it and then i be taking my break and then i be boom 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 back and forth but yeah your girl used to be 230 pounds y'all Woo! so this is what i look like now <laughs> you know i mean i ain't all the way there yet but i'm very proud of where i'm at so can't nobody make me feel bad about a little roll about not having no butt because guess especially if you pay for yours <laughs> now i'm just playing if you got your body done you probably look great but um yeah if you did you can't say nothing to me and if you didn't you can't say nothing to me because i love me so yeah y'all 230 pounds i get a little worked up talking about it and standing up for myself now because i was a big girl for a long time i got bullied for a long well i can't say bully can't nobody ever bully me i got made fun of a lot growing up but you know hold on i'm gonna take this outfit off put on my second one and then i'm gonna start telling y'all the story because i don't want to wear this outfit all right y'all this is outfit choice number two i really like the swimsuit but it might be too hot for it but look i gotta find me some shorts too but look at it real quick hold on <laughs> y'all know i can't shake that <laughs> okay i really like this but it's kind of giving outfit i mean this is giving swim but the swimsuit is giving outfit it's hot i'm hot in here wearing it so i can't even imagine being outside like i said 10 million degrees outside but while i take a second to cool down let me start telling y'all about you know losing weight most of my life growing up i was overweight i'm hot Whew. once a big girl big girl forever baby <laughs> so when i turned 21 i went on a trip to vegas how cliche i know and i went zip lining on i don't i forget what it's called but that just that main little like vegas strip where all the little stuff is when zip lining in the line to get ready for zip lining they had like a 250 pound weight limit thing i want to say so we have to get weighed i got up there looked down on the scale i weighed in at a whopping 230 y'all 230 mind you i was 21 years old 230 pounds so when i saw that my heart dropped i ain't gonna lie it ain't like i didn't know i was big but it's just like damn i almost can't get on a zip line <laughs> so I had fun my Vegas trip, had a ball, ate up, 
drank up because I knew when I was coming back home, it was over with for that. I did not move to Atlanta to be a big old, big old biscuit girl in Atlanta. <laughs> So when I got home, how I started honestly is I would look up and I don't even remember like what, probably just Google because I don't even know what social media or whatever was popular at that time. This is like 2014, 2015, but I didn't really know like what to eat and stuff on my own. So I would Google healthy meals. Mind you, I'm a picky eater. So I picked out a couple things that I liked and I literally just made the same thing every day. I'm about to break it down for y'all. And also I wanted to, I had a gym like in my apartment complex, but I was just embarrassed y'all to be honest. I was just embarrassed of how big I was and where I let myself get. I didn't want nobody in the gym seeing me and laughing at me and making fun of me. So I used to go in the gym at like, probably like midnight and I would just work out and I would start my workouts were nowhere near like what they be now with a trainer I would literally just like walk on the treadmill for so if I wanted to do like some weightlifting too I would do 30 minutes on a treadmill and then I would do like something light like 20 reps of some leg and arm and back machines you know what I mean like I didn't really know what to do so something light so I would do that every other day and then on the days in between that I would just straight walk on the treadmill for like 45 minutes to an hour with the incline I did that literally if not every day probably like five days out the week for real like I was really just tapped in I was like nah man summer because my birthday's in January so I got back it's still cold I'm like summer's coming I'm not about to be this girl no more so I really tapped in um, I would eat Subway for lunch every day, literally, literally every day, because that's when I used to have to take my niece to cheerleading all the time. So there was a Subway right down the street from there. So me and my nephew would go eat Subway every day while she was at cheerleading. And for dinner, I would literally, oh, so also my Subway order, I used to eat the most blandest food. I'm not going to lie. I started off really like cold turkey in it because I just wasn't having it no more. So at Subway, I would get a, I would get wheat bread. I would get turkey sandwich. Mind y'all, I don't like turkey sandwiches, but I know that they're healthier or on the healthier side. So I would get a turkey sandwich, no cheese. I would get spinach instead of lettuce. I would get mustard. And that might be it, or maybe like onions or something. I don't know. It was very plain and very bland, but healthy enough to eat consistently, you know? So I would eat that. And then for chips, I would either skip the chips or I would get either baked barbecue lays or sun chips because both of those I ain't gonna lie I don't know if they're healthy but I ate them every day and I lost weight so <laughs> and then for dinner I would eat <laughs> I had like three dinners that I would eat it would either be tilapia with yellow rice and green beans mind you now in 2023 I don't eat tilapia because I heard that people make that it's not a real fish so I don't even eat that no more but I used to eat that probably like three four days out the week um another day would be ground turkey spaghetti and what else did I used to eat? I don't remember y'all. It was literally like the same two or three meals every single day though. Every, every, every single day. If I had to have breakfast, I would drink a special K um, little protein shake thing in the morning. Like I was very strict on what I ate. I remember one of my snacks throughout the day was 12 pistachios. Like, <laughs> like don't just go eating pistachios. I would have a count, 12 pistachios. Or I would cut up a banana into banana slices and put peanut butter on them and eat like peanut butter and bananas. Those were my snacks, so. In the beginning, I probably did that for like a good three or four months. I just literally worked out at the gym at home late at night when nobody else was around. Walked on the treadmill 30 minutes um, on days where I would do some weight training to 45 minutes to an hour on days where I didn't. Consistency, y'all. And then I told y'all the meals that I would eat. That was my first three, four months. And I probably lost, I, don't, I can't tell you a number because I, I would be lying if I said I remember, but I started feeling it. I didn't really see it yet, but I was feeling it. I was feeling better. And my clothes were fitting looser, so I knew something was going on, but I wasn't looking in the mirror yet. Like, God damn, she looked good. Like, it wasn't that yet. So. Let me go put on another outfit. I forgot I'm going to the pool. Let me go put on another outfit and then we will continue this story. Okay, here's number three, guys. It's just a little tie-dye, a little one piece with some pants at the bottom. How y'all like this one? I wish I could show y'all better. Thank <laughs> you. 
it's okay it's probably my second favorite so far because so far i really like that leopard cheetah whatever that was but yeah next part to the story so after i kind of got more comfortable just at least with my workout routine not even really working out or being around people working out still because i was still very self-conscious um self-conscious I found a kickboxing class like 10 minutes away from my house at the time and I started going there three days a week. I wanted to do more but that's around the time when I was nannying for my niece and nephew so like I said she had cheerleading a lot so three days out the week is when I could go um, just because like balancing them and balancing school. This is when I was in college so I had a lot going on. I went to kickboxing class though three days a week. It was an hour class. It's called Kickbox ATL or Atlanta Kickboxing or something like that. I'll, I'll put the information down here for y'all but amazing 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 class. It was a group class so I used to be in the back sometimes until I got more comfortable. I used to be in the back a little nervous um a little self-conscious but over time i probably did this for like a year and i i got used to it i loved it i was losing weight dropping weight and then they also had in between the um kickboxing classes they had kettlebell classes so then i started that too and that helped me like tighten up and tone up and all that i was still eating the same way that i was before i was probably finding more things to add into it slowly like i i like to just try new things i remember i was on like a quinoa kick for a while i remember i was on a broccoli kick for a while where i literally just ate broccoli with whatever meal and it's funny because I had a trainer too before that told me broccoli is man-made so not to eat that but I had a broccoli kick before you'll find kind of your groove with eating and honestly you know what's good for you and what's not good for you just make better choices um that's what worked for me but kickboxing I used to have Toonie and Essie in there with me at my three days out the week classes I did that for like a year loved it I don't remember my trainers names but I only stopped because I moved so it was a lot less convenient for me or else I'd probably still be doing that now but yeah kickboxing was probably one of my favorite things to do like if I could find a kickboxing class now I'd probably do that and then around that time also with kickboxing is when I used to try new things as well in between like I tried a hot yoga class before way too hot for me I used to walk up stone mountain all the time or just like go on walks around the city so that's when I started being a little more active like outside with my weight loss journey and after I change again I will tell you what was after that? It's hot in here, y'all. Golly. Crazy funny story time, y'all. So I was literally putting on another choice and I got the phone call that the pool is canceled. We're still going to link up, but pool swimming is over with. So I just have to put on like a little, they said pool kind of vibey, beachy. I don't know. So I put on this dress. I'm about to show y'all and I'm about to put it together, get my little purse get my little glasses get my shoes finish up and we about to be out of here but yeah <laughs> that's so crazy it's a little short <laughs> that's better that's better let me go grab my accessories definitely bring in my favorite purse and it matches so i'm glad that the plans got switched y'all remember my baby my teddy blake purse this is my favorite purse y'all i really need to get it in every color because it's such a perfect summer bag it's so cute so small holds my essentials and it's like i don't know it's like the perfect material that it's made out of it has gotten wet it's fine um i can't lie i'm a little rough sometimes with things it has upheld everything there's nothing wrong with it see it's still the same as when I first got it like two months ago <laughs> and I wear it all the time so I just want to say to y'all that this purse is amazing and I actually know that they're having a 4th of July sale up to 70% off especially when you use my code <laughs> so if y'all need a new little summer bag this is perfect I got orange because orange is my color in the summer I could wear it on my shoulder <laughs> if I want to hold on let me put you down I could take the strap off even though y'all just saw me put it on but that's okay I could take the strap off and this is my favorite way to wear it really just wear it just walk around with it like this do 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 perfect material y'all perfect purse I promise you I'm not just talking I love this purse Teddy Blake go to their website right now for the 4th of July sale it holds everything I need my lip gloss my credit cards my ID 
and that's all that's all oh, <laughs> I'm lying and my handy dandy fan thing for the summertime because it's hot as balls outside and actually inside right now you y'all see y'all see here's how this works This is why I be hot, y'all, because why it's not working. Oh, oh, there we go. Get you one of these. This is my favorite summertime find. Put on these glasses. Ow. Here's my whole outfit now. Ow. Minus the shoes. Y'all can't see the shoes. I know y'all barely can see me. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Let's finish talking about this weight loss and then I need to finish getting ready and I need to head out because I'm about to be late now and I still got to get all the way up here ready. So I told y'all about kickboxing. After kickboxing for like a year and I moved, I started training with a personal trainer actually. I've had three main personal trainers in my life. My first one was, his name was Will, Bodies of Steel. Um, I ain't gonna lie, he got me right. He got me together. He helped me to start running and jumping, not jumping rope, but like just more cardio. Like he really was on my ass about cardio. So Will really got me going with the cardio and just dropping weight. My friend Kelly is a trainer. If y'all actually watched my last video, the girl that was doing the hookah, that's my friend Kelly. She has a hookah business and she's a personal trainer, but she trains me for a long time. Um, she was doing a lot of like outdoor workouts with me at the park. I think it was called Boot Camp Fridays, I think, but yeah, outside stuff, so sweating. And then my last trainer that I had was, I am the king of fitness, was Corey. Corey gonna get your ass together. He gonna get your ass right. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> the workouts are hell, y'all, but they are so worth it. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, his workouts are amazing. He give you meal prep if you want it. His, he has, like, a cafe, too, so all the metabolism teas, fat burners, all of that. He got the fitness thing in the bag. I can't lie. Fitness in the bag. I am the king of fitness. He trained me for years. Um, my biggest problem now and in the end was just consistency. Like I would get a little fine and then I would be like, all right, I'm cool for a couple months. And then I would gain some weight and then I'd be like, okay, let me lose this back. So then I would stop. Like I got to stop doing that. I have to work out all the time because I'm still not where I want to be. I'm not where I want to be yet at all. But it's like, I could have been there by now if I would just stop taking these breaks, stop giving up, and just be consistent. Anybody that wants to lose weight, my number one piece of advice for you is be consistent. Consistent, consistent, consistent. If you work out hard as fuck one day and then you take the next three months off, it does not matter. But if you work out moderately for the next 30 days and don't take a day off, that will matter. You'll see a difference. Consistency is key here, y'all, and eating right. You don't have to eat clean. I'm not telling y'all eat clean, eat clean, eat clean. You got to enjoy your life and we love food, but just make better choices. Make better choices. Maybe instead of getting white rice, you get wheat brown rice. You know what I mean? Just small choices, small habits. And y'all see now, like I'll do a little thing where I might be a pescatarian or I'll try to stop eating meat or I'll, you know, not drink anything but water for a while. I just do little things like that now too. And also, um, I haven't had a personal trainer lately, but I just go to Planet Fitness and I feel like I've just been working out for so long at this point that I can kind of give myself a workout in there. I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's my experience, y'all. And in my experience, it has gotten me here. Um, I, like I said, I ain't all the way there yet, but I am 73 pounds down, so kudos to me shout out to me ow look uh-uh what the hell shout out to me <laughs> hold on y'all i just had to pull this out of my hair because it got stuck in the fan can y'all see this how crazy it's time for me to go <laughs> no i'm just kidding i gotta finish getting ready but yeah y'all um any questions if anybody has any I don't know, just more specific questions that you want to ask me about weight loss, about anything, hit me up. I don't have all the answers, but I do have answers based off of my experience. Um, I know a lot of things that work, a lot of things that don't. I can just tell you, you know, from my personal experience, things that I've actually went through myself. Um, just different feelings you go through, different things you can do, different foods you can eat, activities to try out. It's a lot, y'all. And the older that we get, the harder it is. That's that's 
another big top piece of advice for you is do it the younger that you are because our bodies don't work the same the older that we get i be so tired in my workouts now i've never liked working out i'm i always be tired let me put that out there i always be tired i do not like working out but it's a different kind of tired now y'all it's a 31 year old tired and i be done tired <laughs> But yeah, I'm like a good 165 now. I could tell y'all that. It's okay. Since y'all asked. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm like a good 165 now. I really want to get to like 145, 150. So soon. Stay tuned with me. I promise I'm back in the gym. And y'all gonna see. I don't really want like abs and cuts and all that. Because I just don't want to look like a man. But like if I could do that and look feminine and look good. Then okay, sure. I'm open to it. But I'm about to go to the pool, y'all. I'm talking y'all head off now. I love y'all. Enjoy y'all Saturday. I will see y'all soon. I'm gonna show y'all the pool in another video probably. Just so that I can get this posted into y'all before I go. So love y'all. Make sure that you like, comment, share, subscribe. Click the bell notification. And um. I'll catch y'all later.